All right, Todd is here with a closer look at our forecast. Still looking good overall, Todd? Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah, I mean, these next few days are going to be really, really nice. They're not going to, today's warm, like yesterday, but then they cool off a little bit, but we're still going to be pretty sweet as we okay, head to the Yesterday and today week. is way above normal. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this is like early summer kind of stuff, and uh, the end of the week is going to be like spring stuff, just really nice. All right, here's a really nice opening scene for us this morning. Freeport, Casco Bay, looks like high tide right now. And it's going to be a beautiful sun up. We got a few clouds out there at the moment drifting over the state from north to south. There's a very weak frontal boundary here, not enough to supply us with any showers or thunderstorms, but to give us a thin deck of clouds that's pretty high up there, 20, 30,000 feet. Temps are mild because of them. Boy, it feels good outside already. Bangor 51, 55 Augusta, 53 Lewiston, 60 in Portland right now. I mean, if you do some exercising during the day, you might want to get your jog in this morning. It's really sweet. Temps up north where it's clearer, are a little cooler right now. There is that front, and it's going to play a bigger role in our weather in the coming days, tomorrow and Friday, as cooler maritime air will sweep in from the east. But for now, we're still dealing with some warm stuff, not quite the hot stuff. That's out to our west through the Great Lakes and southern Canada, too. It wants to come into Maine. It's just going to have a really tough time doing it because of that cold ocean water. This morning, varying amounts of high clouds, already comfortable and mild out there, and temperatures will be in the 60s before you know it. Midday, mostly sunny and dry. We'll have an early summer feel minus the humidity which is, in my opinion, like the best kind of weather, right? When you don't have the humidity to deal with, the mosquitoes aren't too bad yet, although the black flies are awful right now. Temps reach the mid 70s and then we start cooling off at the coastline as the sea breeze kicks in. So we'll reach about 74 in Portland and then back off into the 60s at the end of the day. Upper 60s, Rockland and Bar Harbor into the lower 60s at the end of the day. But look at the interior. We're looking at 75, 76, 77 degrees. Low to mid 70s up in the mountains as well. Looks beautiful. 80 for Freiburg, though. 80 probably for the Berwicks and then 80 plus over in the Granite State. And that's going to be the theme over the next couple of days. Very warm to our west, cooler over Maine for the most part. But again, we'll have some really nice weather and we're pretty much going to be rain free for the next three days outside of the mountains, getting a couple of showers here Friday afternoon. And then over the weekend, that front falls apart, allows for the one from Canada to sag south. And that means changes rolling this weekend. Looks unsettled for Saturday, especially. Showers, storms popping up several times. And then on Sunday, a late day or evening thunderstorm will interrupt some late day plans. Here are the temperatures tomorrow. Low 60s coastline, 70s inland, and the same thing on Friday. So don't expect it to get to 80 plus again after today. That won't happen. Here's the marine forecast quiet on the water with seas between two and three feet. Mostly sunny today, highs in the mid 70s. Also mostly sunny tomorrow, but it does start to cool off. Lower 70s inland and 60s along the coast. Same thing for Friday. Showers and storms are likely on Saturday, upper 60s. Could be pretty warm on Sunday before we get interrupted by that late day shower or storm. Early next week, back to some great stuff, Sharon. A little coolish on Monday in the 60s, but then 70s return on Tuesday. All right. Great weather. Really great weather. Yeah. I mean, we cannot complain. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Sarah.